Hello, 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 hello everyone and welcome to Joy's Kitchen. How's everybody doing to this evening? I hope all is good. To my new subscribers, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. And welcome, I love you guys. Welcome. I'm glad that you decided to join my YouTube family. Welcome, okay? And to those of you that's watching this channel for the first time, you know what to do. Go ahead and take the time to subscribe. And be sure to tap that notification bell so every time I upload a video or whatever it is I'm gonna upload, honey, you wanna be notified. So, this evening, I'm coming to you with a real quick recipe, okay? I cooked dinner and um, they wanted something sweet. And I didn't do anything because, you know, I'm tired and stuff. It's been like a long week and this weekend has really been exhausted. I mean, I've just been moving stuff, changing stuff, trying to get my house back in order because it was like in chaos the last couple of days. So I couldn't come to y'all in the video because I couldn't cook. Okay, it's not that I didn't want to cook. I had no kitchen to cook in. Okay, my kitchen was a mess. So we have it all straightened out and I'm back and then through. So thank you for that. So, um, I'm doing a little short video, an easy recipe that you can make, honey. You can help the kids make, um, help you with this recipe here. And it's called Apple Ice Cream Tacos. Yes, Apple Ice Cream Tacos. And it is so freaking tasty. It is good. So, I'm going to show you what you're going to need for these Apple Ice Cream Tacos, okay? Let's get into the recipe. Sorry about that, you guys. This thing stay to be dropping. Okay. Soda. Apple. Yeah, I can see. Hmm. Ooh, yum. Okay, now you can do this with fresh apples. You know what I'm saying? It's best with fresh apples. I ain't gonna tell you no lie, but. We're going to do it the quick way. So we're using Comstock. Apple Comstock. So you will need two cans of these. I have one can in this bowl right here. And this is the other can right here. You will need a, one stick of melted butter. We have some ground cinnamon. We have some white sugar in here. And we have some light brown sugar. You will need some flour tortillas. And a spatula for flipping them with. Okay. And then make sure you have your grease already getting hot. Okay. So we're going to go ahead in this bowl. I'm going to add in my sugar and my, my sugars and my cinnamon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add in some... um white sugar okay I'm gonna add in my cinnamon y'all see that I just pulled it on us so we're just gonna drown this mama tapper let me get another fork cuz that one wet in my butter so we're just gonna mix it like this just like this just mix it into combined, well combined. And if you make too much, don't worry because I'm sure after you make this recipe, honey, you're gonna be making it again. So you can just put this little bit that you have left over or whatever you have left over in a Ziploc bag and put it in your cabinet. your pantry or wherever you keep your sugars. Okay. So whatever I have left over, and this is my bag, so after we drench our taco in this, then I have my little plate here that my crumbs can rest on, okay. So now we got this made. I'm gonna take this, the rest of this taco, I mean taco, mm, I'm sorry, the rest of this apple cum stock and I'm just gonna pour it into this bowl here. Okay. 
Now if you want to do it fresh, all you need to do is take you some apples and peel them, saute them in some butter, add your brown sugar, your white sugar, your cinnamon, your um, nutmeg, a little vanilla extract, and um, some allspice if you will. Whisk it all together, let it saute in there until your apples are nice and tender, not overcooked, nice and tender, then take them out. Set them to the side and then go on to your next steps that we're going to go to in a few minutes. Okay, now we got our grease going. I'm going to take... I got to season my water ready. My grease ready for this. Okay, it's ready. I take a little water here and if it spit back at me. It's good and ready. Okay, so I have my apple, my um, tortillas here, and I'm just gonna take them and fold it in half like a taco. And then, but see, this how I'm doing it. Let me show you. Well, you know how to fold it in half, but I'm pressing it. Just to try to make sure, ensure, and I'm pressing it along the seam, so just to make sure that it stays together. Cause sometimes these things come out looking like everything but a taco. So I'm just pressing it along the seams with my dog finger here, or my index finger. Whatever, however you choose to do it, you know. Just make sure it's good and pressed along the seams. So that way it can stay in the shape of a taco. And then we're just going to fry it. Going to let that bad baby fry. Now we got to watch it because we don't want it to burn. Poof roll, we'll do the other side. And then I found out this little trick, y'all. Because sometimes when I make them, they don't come out right. And then I say, it's got to be a way. Because I don't have one of those taco things that you can, you know, you know to, to help you shape the taco. You know what I'm talking about? That I can put in here and lean against. So... I found out doing it this way, it kind of helps it. So I'm going to put about three or nine at a time, not too many. And just press it, flip it over, do the same. Okay, see how it's looking? Then we're going to take our spatula. Okay, let me get another plate. Because I have to sit these in. Let the grease drain off. See, this one done came over already. Done turned over already. I better stop messing with it. Cause this one trying to fold back.
Japan. Okay, so you only fry them for like a couple of sets and we'll get this one. Okay, so I'm going to do three more, and then that's going to be it. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys what I'm going to do next because I need to get this into the butter. Okay, so we're going to take our taco here. And I'm going to kind of... Ooh. Dredge it in a little butter, okay? Turn it over, do the same for the other side. Shake off the excess. Take our um, cinnamon sugar. Okay, that's what it should look like. So we're going to do this one just like so. Dredge it in butter on both sides. Drain off the excess. And if you don't want to be afraid of breaking it, just take your spoon, turn it over, and just wet the other side with the spoon, just like this. Other side of the taco. Flip it over. You can even put some on the inside if you want to. However, you decide to do them. Okay. So, I'm going to take the other ones out. So, I told you all, these, ta these tacos have nine of their own. Because, see, these three stay perfectly well. Okay, that's it. We cook the fry off. Now let me show you how we're gonna build these.
And I'm going to take my taco. And you want to use your favorite ice cream, okay? Whatever your favorite ice cream is, that's what you want to use. take a mask. I'm going to open it up a little bit and I'm going to take my ice cream spoon. Well, my spoon, not my ice cream spoon. <laughs> and I'm just going to put me two little ice cream right there. Two little scoops right there. Okay. I'm just moving that over to the side. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take some of my apple pie filling and place it right on top. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put a little cinnamon on it. If you like, you can add some whipped cream, whipped cream to this. Put a little drop of little um, cinnamon and sugar on there. Fold this bad baby. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is your ice cream taco. And all you gotta do. Hmm. I can't tell why. Y'all, the ice cream taco is good. You got the you know, sweetness of your cinnamon, your brown sugar, your sugar, and the coolness of the ice cream and the warmness of the taco, it goes hand in hand. It is so delicious and easy to make. So you like this recipe? This little nice little handmade dessert, it didn't take long. And you don't have to put that much because it will come out. It's a taco. Ice cream taco. Mm -hmm. When making this, make sure you have you some napkins handy. Because you're going to need them. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is our apple ice cream taco.
Hey, come and get it. It's ready. Come on. Ain't no ice cream on it. It is ice cream on it. It's a taco. It's on the inside, baby. Mosaic, you ready for one? Get another plate for me. Get another plate. So I can put this on. Ice cream taco, you guys, 101. Apple ice cream taco. I hope you guys like this recipe. And if you do, like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching. Until the next video, God bless. Thank you all. I love you all. i see you guys later with another recipe. Have a good night, you all. And stay safe. Cut that off for me. The red button.